Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday. It's quad witching today, so there's going to be some silly, um, silly volatility in stocks for quadruple witching today. Um, so just be aware of that. Some people say that the big pain is. Um, 3100 some people are saying it's uh, at 3200 not super clear to me um, where this the whole thing is gonna and where these options are gonna expire so but just let it be known that uh, quad witching usually means silly directionless volatility so heads up currencies pretty slow now we took a little dive down to 111.97 yesterday but didn't get much didn't get much stretch there 112.13 not much to do here really ran out of energy euro yen same thing we had that initial push down to the 60s but then we came back up to the figure and, and for tactical books this is not what we're looking for um, so we're square euro yen and we're square euro dollar as well. Look good there for a little bit, but then just jigged us out. Cable after the initial pop um, on BOE steadied lower. Now we're at the lower end of this range. Typically on this kind of setup on cable, you just sell through the lows and you watch these this market go lower so um, we will give that a shot today cable consolidation maybe just before the London open we pop higher um, and then the systems turn on and CTA trend following type guys bang it through the lows so we'll be watching to see if that materializes dollar Swiss not really worth a look dollar yen as we talked, as we talked about yesterday it's looks uh, pretty negative there seems to be some real money flows notably um, from SoftBank they do end up selling their T-Mobile stake and repatriating it to yen it is 41 billion um, it's sizable right so yesterday we were playing games Got down to 66. Now this 58.66 is kind of interesting. I think just being core short dollar dollar yen makes sense. Um, selling high ones is the prefer preferable methodology there. Euro yen could easily continue to go lower. Um, just a pain in the ass. So sterling yen also looks like it wants to go lower. Dollars are plowed through those 35 highs. Quadruple witching, I wouldn't touch dollars are today. Euro Swiss, SMB did nothing. We did print the 10650s. No idea what to do here. Could go either way as far as I'm concerned. Down is my favorite way, as always. Um, but no trade there. Aussie, we have this little cliff here at 30 now. One, two, three, four, almost five lows. Sitting here at 57. If this does go risk off, Aussie will follow. But just like uh, ES, Aussie will be volatile on quad witching. So heads up, be careful with that. Kiwi, same story, except for the chart's not quite as pretty. 6390s kind of kind of a, the point but not really too clean 81 printed here on the 15th so we prefer Aussie to Kiwi for the games for the risk off games dollar cad middle of nowhere euro cad we're just waiting this will resolve itself either 150 50 or 154 50 we will not trade the top side in EuroCAD. Gold doing nothing. And finally, ES. 
jammed around um, yesterday, but didn't do a whole lot, right? Down to 67, but then back up, up to 18. Here we are at 02. Um, this thing's just trying to figure out where it's going. So far this week, it's gone nowhere fast with a lot of sort of intra-hour volatility. If you like to fade uh, inter-hour flow, it's been a good week for you. Um, otherwise, it's been a pretty frustrating week, uh, as in 80 moves up, 80 moves down. I guess if you're part of the big up move um, here on Monday, you're fine. But, of course, we were bearish. You know, we were 70 handles at the open looked really bad and then we didn't turn quickly enough so it's been a frustrating week for us but we're just gonna be patient wait and see what this thing can uh, can come up with again quad witching is usually not the greatest trading day uh, you want to nibble you want to grab cash as you see it you want to marry nothing uh, and then when this is all over uh, we can go back to trying to find uh, directional trend either short-term or medium-term trend trades. That's all I got for you today. I wish you luck uh, and a good weekend. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.